Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. We have a special video today, a first time for the channel. Uh, a big love of mine has always been Lego, especially Star Wars Lego, and today I've been sent a special set by Lego. We have the 75294 Bestman Duel Set. Those of you who may not be the Lego community may not know much about this set and why it's significant. So this, uh, a few months ago, was supposed to be the Star Wars Celebration, which is the annual, actually biannual uh, convention for Star Wars, where they release all the new uh, information and special panels, things like that, is where all the Star Wars fans learn about the upcoming events for Star Wars and where the creators plan on taking it. And each year they have an exclusive set. And this year, Lego debuted the Bespin Duel set. Those of you who uh, aren't initiated or know, know what the Bespin Duel was, it is the iconic scene where Darth Vader tells Luke that he is his father. Now why this is important, why I was really excited to obtain this set is that, uh, like I said, it was supposed to be a con exclusive and since COVID-19 has happened, the Star Wars celebration this year was canceled and so they made this available exclusive on lego.com as well as target.com. The original marketing made it feel like, made me feel like I could buy this or ask for it for Christmas, but after a couple days of being on the market, it was sold out. Uh, so I thought that I would never get the set just because of that. And the reselling market, it was going for at least double or triple of what the original price was. Uh, the price in the set, I believe, is $39.95. And then the resellers were selling it for close to $120, $150. Bucks. So it was a pretty significant jump in price. It was about a week, I think it was two weeks ago, they announced that, actually they didn't announce it, it just popped up on lego.com again and the set was available. And I was, I was driving my son to soccer practice and I was like, ah, I just gotta get it. I really need it. I love the set. I'm a big fan of displaying Lego and a lot of Star Wars sets are technically more play sets and they don't really have a whole lot of uh, display options. They come out with one or two a year. Um, and something like this would typically be a play set, but they actually came out with something for adult collectors. And again, I'll talk about later in the, in the review why I love this scene so much, but I just knew I had to get my hands on it. So unfortunately, while I was, once I had arrived to the soccer field, I pulled my phone out to try to, to purchase it. I went through the whole purchase process, and I noticed that right when I was clicking on process my checkout, that it said sold out, and I thought that was kind of odd because it, it was already in my cart, but it said that, and my order went through, and then later that night, I found out that it canceled my order, even though I paid for it and everything, so I got a refund. And then a couple days ago, I got an email from Lego telling me that my set was on the way, and I was really confused because, like I said, it was canceled. <laughs> and I found out that there was some fluke in the system or someone had canceled the order, probably the one person that had purchased it right before I did. And now it's in my hands. Next, I'm going to open the box so you can see what's inside this box. And then I'm gonna build it up and then show you what it looks like when it's all built up. So let's turn around and see what's inside the box. Let's go. So here we have the set a little closer up. Uh, it is in the new 18 plus box art that Lego has debuted this year, uh, just for uh, more adult collector style sets. We saw this with the UCS A-Wing as well as the new Master Builders, most Eisley Cantina. A nice b black box art uh, with the uh, set illuminated from the back, which I really like. Uh, it gives that kind of 18 plus, they're calling it 18 plus box art. For us more adult collectors that like to display their sets or display their sets, uh, I'm gonna open it up real quick and we're gonna see what's inside and like I said, we're gonna build it up. So let's cut the tape here. One and two. Here is the instruction manual. Unfortunately, I got a fold-in manual, which is a sad day, but I'll straighten it out a little bit. Uh, we see the sale, the same box art on the front, from the front of the box as well. Uh, nice black backing to the instruction, which makes it easier to read, in my opinion. Uh, makes everything really pop. Sometimes with the Star Wars sets, they use a lot of gray, and when they use white instructions, it can be sometimes a little hard to see uh, with, that, with that gray and white. In the back, we have a nice Lego Star Wars logo, if we can focus real quick. There we go, there's the Lego Star Wars logo. Um, there's bag two, bag one, and I've got bag three in there. So, um, and it looks like we have one sticker in the set, 
which I'm not a fan of stickers, but see so folks, there we go. This also is, and the reason why they chose this set for the celebration this year, I think, is because it is the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. This is from Empire Strikes Back. So I think it's everything in the box. And then, uh, like I said, I'm gonna sit down here and build the setup. And then next thing you guys will see is the set fully built. And then we'll go over the minifigures and then the set itself and then my final review. So it's been about 50 minutes since the last clip and the set is all built. So first I'm gonna show you the two minifigs that came with the set. So the first is, so this will focus. It's our Darth Vader minifig. This minifig is actually really significant uh, because it is the first time, other than the 2020 Death Star Final Duel set that we have arm printing on a Darth Vader minifig. So that's a pretty important and uh, valuable part of this set. The only way to get arm printing on Darth Vader is in a set that's over $100. So there's some value there as well. Now I would say a big part of the value of the set, not only being a con exclusive, is the minifigs that come with the set. Also, we have a red lightsaber, as all Darth Vader minifigs have. And then we have the newer style helmet, so you can take his helmet off, and he still has the respirator piece here, which is really great. Um, so this is great for a, if you were to do a Empire Strikes Back mock, you can still take off his helmet, or you can see Darth Vader here in how you'd see him at the end of Return of the Jedi with his helmet off when he converts back to Anakin Skywalker. And then the second fig is his son, Luke, here. There we go. It is the Bespin style Luke, so he has that dark tan jumpsuit with that dark tan hairpiece. And then there's his face print on the front. You can all see the blue lightsaber. There we go. And then we turn him around. His alternative expression is that, there we go, that battle damage Luke. I'll put a picture of Luke battle damaged from the movie next. What it looks like in the movie, this is where he's yelling no, right after being told that his father is Darth Vader. Oh, there's Darth Vader. <laughs> so these are the two minifigs. Too many things side by side with their lightsabers. I'm gonna pose them on the set and then we'll, we'll take a look at the set. Here is the set all built up. I chose, chose to do the no, I am your father scene. So you can see here, I chose the alternative face on Luke. Um, I'll zoom in here. Um, that more distressed look for Luke. So I chose to use that because uh, that's the way he looks. He's just, he's been beat down by his father. Um, also, we see. Darth Vader here with his hand up, uh, with his lightsaber deactivated, and then as a little Easter egg in my posing of this set, I chose to have the lightsaber hilt that, that Luke was holding to be kind of look like it's falling um, down the abyss, down the shaft in Bespin, where it would be lost um, until he, actually in the comics, we find out that he actually searched for it and found it. And, basically put it back in the trash. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really beautiful set. I'm very happy with it. Like I said, it took me about 50 minutes to build. Um, it is a $40 set with close to 300 pieces. So those of you who are price for piece snobs um, might think it's a little high, but you're also paying con tax as well. So that $10 boost in price, if you're, we have that exclusive Vader that we only see this first time a version of Vader, which you see this year, and then the 2018 Master Builder series, Luke Skywalker here. Um, it's the only time he's ever been, at least version of Luke in his best bin attire was in 2018. And that set, I believe, was about $350. So in the aftermarket, both these figures are pretty expensive. So if you're looking for figures, I would say it's worth it. Uh, and if you're some big fan of looking for a really Posable and displayable piece. This is also a great option. So I'm very happy as I said to the beginning of the video I look for more Displayable sets and I look for nice minifigures as you see I have a nice little minifigure collection on my desk And these aren't all of I have many more than this, but these ones I'm just displaying for the Halloween season 
yeah, so I'm a big fan of this set. I think there's a lot of great details, a lot of great part usage. The building process was pretty easy. Uh, I would say the only hard part was these rails here. You actually had to bend the pieces yourself. Everything was pretty great, straightforward. There was, there was a pretty cool part usage with um, some old style, um, uh, some old style musketeer swords, and you can also see the pitchfork from the um, farm style city sets. Even some microphones mixed in there, and then um, some gray, light gray lightsaber hilts to add some details as well. I um, also like how it looks like it's floating um, with these trans uh, clear bricks. Um, so it actually feels like you're taking a slice out of the movie. Um, it's floating there like it was um, in the film. So um, for me, it's a great, great find. I'm really happy that Lego ended up sending me this set. Even like I said, it was a, a canceled order, so I'm glad that it did come through. Um, my only other complaint would be the sticker. I'm not a huge fan of stickers. Um, I prefer when things are printed, but it's fine. Um, I'm glad there was only one sticker in the set, which I'm a fan of. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna display it on my desk real quick, and then we'll close out the video. So here's my desk, this is where I'll be displaying the set. Um, I have some of my Harry Potter Series 2 minifigures, and then actually have the um, poly bag of the 20th anniversary uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi figure, and then I have some of my Disney villains minifigures for a little Halloween flair. And then there's my Darth Vader Black Series figure along with the Imper uh, Imperial Probe Droid. Um, so to add to my original trilogy Darth Vader kind of display, I'm going to put the Bespin Duel set right there in the center of my desk so I can really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to leave it in that configuration for now. Which I said I really love that scene. Uh, it's very important to uh, me as a Star Wars fan. Um, and to the trilogy, or to the saga in general, diehard, long-time Star Wars fans, it's a great thing to have in my collection. Um, one thing I would love to see uh, more from LEGO is these vignettes, just because, like I said, I love to display LEGO, and we've gotten, um, over the years, so many play sets, and so um, I love the UCS sets. I hope to purchase some and get some um, in the near future. I'd love to see some of the more of these movie moments, these big moments in LEGO form. We have seen some dual sets over the past couple years. Um, I do have the Mustafar dual scene, uh, but that, that is more of a playset style. Um, this is much more of a nice clean display with the black base, as well as the nameplate there, um, and just looks really clean with the exclusive figure. So um, this is, I'm, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. So I hope to see you all in our next video tomorrow on Tuesday. Uh, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And if you did like this video, um, you want to see more LEGO content from us or from me, let me know. Maybe that'll convince Mary Kate to let me buy some more LEGO sets. Um, but until then, like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and then comment below your favorite um, childhood movie. And if you are a Star Wars fan, let me know your favorite Star Wars movie. And then if you are a LEGO collector as well, let me know your favorite Star Wars set. Um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.